My name is Adrian Freer. I'm a fly fisherman and author and I would like to share a few thoughts and show you some illustrations from my book Reservoir Trout Flies published by Crowwood Press. By way of introduction it's probably a good idea to explain how this book came to be written and why there was the perceived need for yet another volume of fly patterns. It came about as a result of the difficulties I encountered in locating the dressings of many of the artificial flies of interest to a reservoir angler. When looking for a particular fly, it was often necessary to consult a wide array of sources before the required information could eventually be tracked down. No single volume included anything more than a small proportion. I therefore hope that reproducing the results of my research will save others a considerable amount of time which they can put to better use at the waterside catching more trout. Many books of dressings include not only those for reservoir trout, but also flies intended primarily for trout in rivers and streams, for small clear still waters where stalking tactics are frequently adopted, and flies for grayling, sea trout and salmon, those for pike and saltwater fish, and very often flies of foreign origin that have made only a modest impact, if any, in the British Isles. Many of these flies will be of little interest to the dedicated reservoir angler and only tend to confuse matters unnecessarily. Consequently, the need for a book devoted solely to flies suitable for reservoirs, lakes, locks and similar large still waters in the British Isles became apparent, and it is hoped that by concentrating the selection exclusively on these flies, it will be possible to devote far more space to those most appropriate to the British Reservoir Fly Angler. Nevertheless, many of these flies will also be suitable for catching trout in similar large still waters in other parts of the world. The purpose of the first part of the book is to discuss the design and dressing of reservoir flies and to seek to understand how they appear to the trout. I will also discuss exactly what it is that makes a particular fly pattern attractive to the fish and how this knowledge can be integrated into other flies to make them more effective. The second part of the book provides a comprehensive guide to the most popular and successful reservoir fly patterns in use today. It is amazing just how far fly design has progressed in the last 50 years and how many of the books that were considered standard works on the subject just a few decades ago have become hopelessly out of date. It therefore seemed appropriate to remedy the situation by combining in one volume many of the patterns currently employed on reservoirs. Inevitably, a work of this nature will suffer the same fate as its predecessors in the years to come, as new flies come into fashion and old ones pass into obscurity, but that is the price of progress. Nevertheless, it is hoped that it will at least bring things up to date and provide a reference guide for those who will carry the fly dressing torch into the future. The layout has been arranged so this book can be utilised as a practical, on-the-bench reference work of fly dressings for the amateur and professional fly tyre, with the details of each particular fly laid out and illustrated on a single page, thus eliminating the need to turn pages back and forth during tying. Brief comments about the origin of a number of flies are given, together with suggestions of where, when and how they should be fished to get the best results and hopefully this will prove helpful when deciding which fly to use and how it should be retrieved. I sincerely hope that as a result of consulting this volume you will be able to select and tie whatever artificial flies will be most appropriate to your individual needs and in turn it will enable you to catch many more trout. Tight lines and screaming reels to you all and may your tying thread never break.